This is what Dogs on Duty looked like when it was first published in Scholastic News. Let's take a look at the features of a magazine article that help the reader better understand the content. First, there's a big picture of the policemen with their dogs. Immediately, the reader knows this is about police dogs. A caption further explains that these are teams from the NYPD Transit Bureau's K-9 unit. A caption is a short description that accompanies a picture or diagram. The caption is often found under or next to the picture. In this case, it's directly in the picture. The caption explains, but it also raises a question. What is the NYPD Transit Bureau? Using the active reading strategy questioning is a good thing because it activates your brain. When you get to the part of the article that talks about the Transit Bureau, your brain goes, hey, that was mentioned in the caption. Cool, now I will understand what it is. Notice that the article's title is also part of the picture. Do you think those words are actually painted on this street in New York? Probably not. Just a little bit of Photoshop at work. The first section heading is a nice, big, bold print. It is a longer heading that also serves as an introduction to the entire article. Notice that the mini glossary is also right here on the first page, set off in a nice, bright, bold color. In nonfiction text, glossarized words are usually bolded in the text, like here and here. When you encounter a word in bold text in the middle of a paragraph, one that is not a heading, you can guess that a definition will be provided. The next section heading, the nose knows, is in bold and in color. But what is this section here on the side in blue? This isn't actually part of the main article. It's called a sidebar. Often, a second short article will be placed alongside a main article. The sidebar has similar content to the main article, often giving additional examples. After the video is over, take time to read the three short examples of the other dogs at work, especially the last example about a beagle named Freedom. Do you recall that the dog in our book, Shiloh, is a beagle? Notice that the caption for each picture is included directly in the picture. Let's review some important features of nonfiction text. Pictures and captions, headings, mini glossaries, bold print, sidebars, and colored text. All these features make the page more attractive, but they also organize information in a way that helps the reader better comprehend the information.